Every time you play head-to-head -head online in Madden 16, does this happen? Yeah? Well, I'm going to teach you how to stop it. I'd like to welcome the newest member of the comment club. If you want to join the comment club, make sure you leave a comment below. What is going on, guys? This is the Crans Mount here, and today we're going to learn how to stop Nano Blitzes. I know it's one of the biggest things you'll see on defense on head-to-head -head online, and it really pisses me off, like, to no end. Nano Blitzes come in instantly before you're even finished your drop back and sack you. There's not almost, it feels like there's nothing you can do about it, but there is, and I'm going to teach you guys how to stop it. There's a couple of different ways, but first I want to break down what a nano blitz actually is. A lot of people say a nano blitz is anytime you get sacked. That's not true. We have a mid blitz right here. We're, we're blitzing six guys, but the offense is only blocking five. So we are overloading the offensive line we should get through for a sack. So let's see. We have a free rusher. We're going to get the sack. Very simple, easy to understand, but it still gets aggravating. Now that's something where you'll have to try to get the ball out fast, go for a quick throw. But that's not what we're covering. I just want to show you guys the difference. A lot of people think a nano is any time they get sacked, uh, any blitz that comes through. Nanos aren't like that. They're the... The glitchy, you know, weird animations like, well, it didn't really happen as much that time, a little bit, but it's stuff like that where it, it gets through super easily by tricking the AI in the game. So um, definitely is annoying. You guys, if you've played online, you have seen it. It should work this time uh, right there. Two guys glitched like it's crazy. Um, so I know a lot of people complain about it, um, you know, on Twitter on Mutthead, you just see complaints about it all the time. So one way to stop it is going to be slide protect. That's going to be left bumper or L1 and then choose your the way that they're coming through uh, and tricking the opponent. So I'm going to show you how to tell which, you know, which way is being tricked. So got the blitz set up, bust right through. Uh, let's go into instant replay and we'll take a look at it. All right. So here is the play. We're going to watch, watch, watch. All right. On this one, you got a couple guys that get tricked. That, uh, that right guard in the center, they're tricked. It's really the center is big on that one. He wants to go after that guy on the left side, so he lets that middle guy go through, which makes that right guard have to go get that guy. And then the right tackle is way out here thinking somebody's going to blitz from the outside. So you really, this one's tough. I would say that that center, the guy right above the center is the guy that really tricks everyone on this play. Uh, sometimes when the Nanos run, it's on the left. Um, so that's the way we're going to run it. He's a little bit to the left, so that's really where you're going to want to block. So we're going to slide protect to the left there. And now usually you can just choose away and you'll get lucky sometimes. Um, so let's set up the blitz. For anyone who wants to know the blitz, sorry, I'm not showing it. I don't want more people knowing the blitz. That's why I'm showing you guys how to stop it. So again, left bumper or L1 and choose which way we're going to go left. Uh, so that's going to set it up. And you can tell it goes a little bit further to the left for the offensive line guys, the left and right guard. Uh, the left tackle and the left guard both go out a little bit more. So then, look at that, boom, we get a great stop right there. We're able to make a completion, make a nice throw, and not have to worry about the blitz coming in. So that's one way to stop nano blitzes. Sometimes that will work. Most of the time it will work. Sometimes it won't. You're going to have to you know, keep an eye on it, see if, uh, see if it is actually working. Uh, the next way... Block your running back. So that's going to be wire triangle, then the player icon. So this time it's RB. A lot of times it's RB, R1, triangle or Y or, you know, different things. So you're going to just pay attention to what it is. And then pass block, which is right, uh, right trigger or R2. Uh, so it's going to look like that. This works pretty well most of the time, uh, depending on where it is. You can see we got a pretty good animation there. Went after the, the, uh, the unblocked guy. That's another great way. You can put both of those together if you want, or 
you can just do max protect. So that's the same as slide protect. Just do max protect. That's going to block your guy and spread everyone out a little bit. Um, so everyone will get picked up usually, and it does a pretty good job there. We have an awful throw, but it works out pretty well. The next way to stop the Nano Blitzes is going to be using a receiver, motioning receiver in to be your extra blocker. Uh, I like doing this. It's a little easier to set up. Uh, you can actually choose exactly where you want them to block. You just motion, and then right where they're in the spot, you hit A, you snap the ball, and uh, I feel like it gives you a little bit more time. You get a little bit better animations uh, just because the, the guy is there. Uh, and what actually happens... There is, uh, when you motion somebody and snap them while they're in motion, it uh, makes them a blocker. So I could do it right here, and he's a blocker. Obviously, that's not the best spot to do it, but it still will work. It, is, it still makes him a blocker. So we're going to show you guys that one more time. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know how to motion, you're going to use B or circle, and uh, choose which guy you want to motion. Usually... I like putting the better blockers there, so that tight end would be perfect to motion. So you choose which way, and then you snap it as soon as he's in the right spot. Usually past the quarterback is the best spot. Uh, we're going to throw it up, get that animation. No, drop it. All right. So the last way to stop the nano... Actually, there's two more ways to stop nanos. They're both basically the same, um, but can be used a little bit differently. It's going to be run the ball. Halfback dive. You can see this time you have different icons under the, the offensive line guys. It's the same nano blitz, but look at this. Look how many yards we got from just the open space that there was. For some reason, the offensive line get a lot better blocks when they run block. Even if they're pass blocking run, uh, the pass blocking offensive linemen, they just get better blocks. So we'll try it again to the other side, to where the blitz is coming from, and we still get a great gain there. It's proof. It works, guys. Trust me. Run the ball. Go invest in a very good running back, good offensive line guys that can run block. You'll be all right. The last way, it's the same method. You want to have that icon for the run block underneath by using a play action. So right here, we change it to a play action. Take away that extra blocker that we get on that left side. Uh, make a play that looks like this. And watch this. Look how great the, the, the blocking was. We had so much time. We could have completed a pass, but I was just trying to look at that offensive line. Uh, let's do it again. <clears throat> uh, sometimes they are going to get there, but that running back completely fools everyone. Get your guy wide open down the field, and you throw the ball out of bounds so he can't catch it. So, yeah, we're going to – I think I forgot to set up the Nano Blitz on that time. Uh, so it actually is going to look a little bit different. Uh, usually they're a little bit closer when they bite. Um, so there, he bit on it enough for me to make a pass. I see a sh guy open short, and he dives. So a lot of times your wide receivers are going to screw you up, but uh, you are going to be able to stop Nanos with uh, play action. But sometimes play action is a little iffy. You don't want to use play action all the time because you don't want to waste all that time. So maybe you... Uh, you take away that running back. You don't want to be a play action. You switch him to a different route. And that's the same way we made him pass block earlier. <clears throat> you can change him to pass block again here, and he won't get the fake. So he'll just be an extra blocker. Um, so there, it worked pretty well. We got a guy wide open there. So those are just some ways to stop nano blitzes. You can combine different things and you know try different things out different ways. Go ahead and practice uh, in practice mode, just send a, a big blitz, you know, maybe don't practice the nanos, but if you know somebody who does, you, say you want to play a game and just practice some things against them. Um, again, I like I like keeping the play action the way it is just because you get that, uh, they'll bite on it sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't work. That's all right. But most of the time it will work. They will bite on it. So uh, I like doing that. Um, again, and you can, oh, you can combine the, the different methods. So you want him to go on that route. You're going to motion. We're on the play action, but we're going to motion this guy right here. Boom, right there. We get that extra blocker. He got lucky and almost got through, but we, we I mean, the quick, easy pass is the way, you know, the, what you really want to go for, for offense. But I really hope you guys enjoy it. I hope this helps you out. 
I know a lot of people struggle with stopping those nanos. And again, I'll show you how, look how deadly these nano blitzes are. I can't even get the ball off. Like I didn't have the option to throw the ball yet. So nano blitzes are crazy this year and uh, just really frustrating because everyone knows them. But again, easy, quick ways to stop it. Slide protect, boom. We're already so much better than we were before. Get a nice long gain there. So I hope you guys are able to use this information. I hope it helps you guys out. Uh, that is going to be it for this video. Make sure you smash the like button if you're able to use this information to help you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Let's have one more blitz, though. Let's have one more blitz. See, you can't get away. You need me. You guys need me. Peace out.